is more than even what we say. It is even more than our dancing. You cannot, you can dance, one can dance and never achieve the kingdom of God. Even one can preach it and never get there. That is the reason why we are coming at this particular time to let us know that the kingdom is coming. What do I need to do? What do you need to do? What do we need to do together to really achieve this kingdom of God? And it shall be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. As we go today, heaven shall be open unto us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, before we enter to what God is having for us today, can I ask the man of God to pray for us in a minute? Over our, to you, sir. Our Lord, our God, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we are here. Yes. We want you to speak your word. Yes, Lord. To your people today and to all the nations. Amen. For us to be blessed by your word today. Amen. And change us from bad to good. Amen. And bring us closer to you than before. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let somebody say big amen at home. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus amen. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. The glory and honor. To God be the glory. Glory and honor to God be the glory. Glory and honor to God be the glory. Glory and honor, I say to God be the glory. Glory, glory and honor. To God be the glory, glory and honor. We have come again to give God his glory over mankind. The one who created us in his image. The one who loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. That he gave us wind, the air, he gave us sun, moon, he gave us everything needed. Hallelujah. Amen. When you fly in the air, in the aircraft, you see the, the beauty of the Lord in humanity. When you are in the sea, you see the beauty of the Lord. Even when you are under him, when you are in the train, you see the beauty of the Lord. When you are driving... Even when you are eating, when you are talking, you see what only God can do. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it that we have for us again today by the grace of God? It's no other thing than the continuation of you know, what we've been talking about all this while, that we don't know when it, it will come to an end, because it, it takes us back to the foundation that God gave to man, the school of life. Where God gave us everything, He come to teach us, to nurture us about, you know, He came to felicitate with us, to come and share His time with us. He, he, he needed a relationship with man then. He gave us all, but ignorantly we just lose it to the devil because of disobedience, because we equate God with devil. Devil said, Don't oh mind God. It's because he doesn't want you to be like him. And we lost the whole thing to him. But thank God for God who is loving God, who gave that relationship back to us through Jesus Christ. Go and teach them more about what I needed in heaven. Because those that came before him, most of them failed. Everyone, talk, mention them, mention them, prophets, they failed. Priests, they fade. No, kings fade. No one again. But God is looking for somebody who can understand him and walk by his way. And Jesus now came to teach us. He said, I came from my Father in heaven to let you know. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we're talking about the heirs of Abraham. The heirs of Abraham was a word of God one day. So go and talk to, to those that called themselves the heirs of Abraham. Who are these people? Christians, those who believe that, yes, yeah, Jesus Christ, you know, die on the cross of Calvary. Mm. And those who call themselves, you know, a, 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 a Muslim, Islamic religionist. Those who believe that, yes, Muhammad is our master. Even they don't believe that there is Jesus Christ. 
Go and tell them. God said, I don't need noise in heaven. All I needed is, you know, for them to walk rightly with me, with my heart. Enough of noise. Enough of fighting. While we live, the gospel want us. If you believe in God, what are the things that you see in God that God wants you to, you know, disseminate among men that we left, we just leave them beside and begin to talk our own, you know? We are just multiplying our own mind, increasing our own interest, not the interest of God. God said, doesn't want fight. He wants us to walk amicably in the love he gives to man so that we can achieve the kingdom of God. No love, no kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. And talk, you know, for a while we talk talking why Jesus way is the best way. You know, there are some people who are comparing Jesus Christ with their masters, with their law, with their geo, with their, you know, with their priest. Even they compare Jesus Christ with, <laughs> with ordinary man who died because, you know, he was a warrior. Hallelujah. Amen. And this thing we are talking about was recorded in the heart of men that Jesus Christ came to represent his father here, the son of God, came to do everything according to his father's will. And for a while now, we talk about the Bible. And the day we talk about that Bible, I believe we said the word of God. And this might take us, I don't know, no, far. And it's bringing some things so that we need to be conscious of if, if, if I, that is speaking, want to achieve the kingdom of God. If you that is hearing me, want to achieve the king. You geos, you bishop, you apostle, you prophet, you priest, you imam, you president, you king, you king, you queen, you senators, you brother, sister, you want to achieve the kingdom of God. There's a word that become all this why. Beware. Beware. The kingdom of God wants us to beware of so many things Around us, if too late we want to achieve the last home that is coming on our way, because Jesus will come. What are we talking about today? Beware of self-justification. Beware of self-justification. You can say beware of spiritual justification. Like some people will think, yes, I am a spiritual man. I am, I am filled of the Spirit. But it says beware of self justification. If today you want to achieve the kingdom of, of God so that we don't lose it to justify ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. What does this say to us in the book of Malachi chapter 3? Let's see if one verse 1 to 7 is in, sir. Behold, Behold, I send my messenger. Behold, I send my messenger. And he will prepare the way before and me. And he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek, and the Lord that you seek, we suddenly come to His temple. He will come to His temple. Even the messenger of the covenant. Even the messenger of the covenant. In whom you delight. In whom you delight. Behold. Behold. He is coming. The Lord is coming. Says the Lord of hosts. The Lord he said, "I am coming. I am bringing my messenger before you. Expect him." That was the word that came before Jesus even came. I am bringing my messenger before you people. You will see him, acknowledge him when he comes. And he, has, he came and he's gone. He has come to us, but he's, he's rewinding us again, opening us up again from our relaxation now, <laughs> from our enjoyment now. That is making us justify our saving while we are far away from his will. What does he say, sir? But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can endure the day of his coming? And he. And who is that person? Who is that man or woman that will stand right in the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? Who is that one that will stand when the Lord shall appear now? For he is like a refiner's fire. Because he is coming as a refiner of fire. And like a laundress soul. He is going to refine souls now. 
He will sit as a reviner. You know, he's coming to revive. He's coming to revive. He's coming to twist. He's coming to change. He's coming to purify. And a purifier of silver. He's going to be a purifier of silver. He will provide the sons of Levi. He will purify the sons of Levi. And the punch them. Don't of forget gold and the silver. sons of Levi. Those that be, they, 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 they are they are the Lord. Is coming to let them know more. Is coming to let them know more. Is coming to let them know more. If he's coming to not purify those that he call his own, how much more those that are far away from it? And put them as gold and silver. These have been the sickness that had been. Jesus Christ was not here when this word, which means man had already moved away from the ways of the Lord before now. But thank God for Jesus Christ who brought us back. This word is coming to us again. What does he say, sir, for that? That they may offer to the Lord. That they might offer to the Lord. An offering righteousness. And a righteousness as an offering. Then. We are not putting righteousness before the Almighty God today. But our song is that nobody can be righteous. And God is saying we want our righteousness. How do we manage it now? How do we put it together? People of God, how do we put it together? How do we manage it? God said, until you are righteous before me, until I purify you and make you righteous, and men say we cannot be righteous, and God said we must be righteous, instead of us to say, God, what do I need to do to be righteous before you? We are condemning what God expected from us as people. Then the offering of Judah then the and offering, Jerusalem. The offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasant to the Lord. They will be pleasant to the Lord. As in the days of old. The requirement of the Lord from his people shall be wonderful before God. Like that of old. As in the days of old. Yes. As in the former years. As in the former years. And I will come near you for judgment. <laughs> He said, I will come near you with judgment now. I will be shift a witness against sorcerers. I will shift against witness with sorcerers. Against adulterers. Against adulterers. Against uh, pejorers. Against all sinners. Uh, against those who exploit wage earners. He said, when you, you see, when you say, when you say, when you say you are a, a, a master, or in those countries whereby Somebody go to work for six months and you fail to pay them their salary. He's talking to you here now. You punished the workers. Their wages was not paid to them. He said, these are the things that is coming to psych man from. He's bringing us back to his mind now to understand what he wanted for man. What does he say for that, sir? And again, who to verse seven. To, yeah. And again, and again, those who turn away an island, those that turn away the island, because they do not fear me, because they don't, the Lord of hosts. God said, because they don't fear me, that is why we are doing our own thing. Everyone that God said we should love, we hate them. For I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I do not change. I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed. <laughs> God said he's not a changing God. He's not going to change his position as God. It's the same God of old that we have now and that we, you know, we continue to have. Therefore, you are not consumed. Therefore, you are not consumed. Oh, sons of Jacob. Sons of Jacob, I am speaking to you now. The reason why you are not consumed is because I am God. Yet, from the days of your fathers. Yes, from the day of your fathers. You have gone away from my ordinances. You have gone away from my ordinances. You have moved away from my Lord, my commandment, from the day of your fathers. And I have not kept them. And you have not kept them. Return to me. Return to me now. And I will return to you. And I will return to you. Says the Lord of hosts. But you said, you said, in what way? In what way shall we return? Shall we return? In what way? Maybe this should be your question now. Say to God, in what way, oh God, do I come back to you? He said, manage your life in righteousness with me. 
I should, I should manage my life with righteousness with him. All those things that you are doing that God doesn't want, put them aside. All I'm doing that God doesn't want, put them aside. Beware of self-justification. Hallelujah. Beware of just, I mean self-justification. Spiritual justification. So Proverbs chapter 29, what does verse 1 says? He who is often rebuked and hardens his neck. Who that is often rebuked and is hardening his neck. We suddenly be destroyed. We be destroyed. And that without remedy. They will be destroyed without remedy. Everyone that the Lord is shaking, <laughs> is controlling, is speaking to. And because of their, you know, stiff nakedness, they are saying, What are you talking about? What do you know about God? Have you been to heaven before? He <laughs> said they will be destroyed without remedy. I don't think that's a sinner. Who doesn't know that he's sinning? Except you are one of those who love to eat hard drugs. Yes, when you are, when you, when you, when you find yourself in hard drugs, you must have, you know, you, you, all you are saying is that you begin to control me. I want to lose my senses to you. That is why you destroy. You finish destroying before you know where you are. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Self justification. So what does this in the book of Luke chapter 10? Let's see from verse 17 to 28. Sir. Then the 70 returned with joy. Then the 70 returned with joy. See, Jesus was the one who sent his disciples. He sent them away, you know, to go and minister, to go and visit, to go and, you know, preach, to go and heal. He gave them signs. And now they now came, they returned to Jesus. What did they say to him? Saying, they said, Lord, Lord, even the demons are subject to us. In even your in this journey, you send us. Ah, we don't know. We know the reason why you are powerful now. We know the reason why you are honored now. We know the reason why your fame is all around now. It's because you carry power. And even in this little you sent us, we see devil bowing for us. We see miracles in our hands. Oh, in our ministry, it's a mystery of miracle. Nobody go, come and go the same way. Everybody is shouting, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, God has done it again. But what does he say to them? And he said to them. And he said to them. I saw Satan fall like a lightning from heaven. I saw Satan falling like lightning from heaven. Behold. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. I give you the authority to, you know, to, talk, to, to walk on serpents, on uh, scorpions, powers of men. And over all the power of the enemy. And over the powers of enemy. And By this authority I give unto you, I see devil falling before you. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. And nothing shall by anything, anytime hurt you. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Do not rejoice in this. Don't rejoice in this. That the spirit are subject to you. That the spirit are subject unto you. But rather. But rather. Rejoice because your names are written in the heaven. Rejoice that your name, your name, your name, everyone that is here in me. Rejoice that your name, the name of your family, of your wife, of your children, of all around you, are written in the book of life. That as you become a prophet, bishop, apostle doesn't mean that my name shall automatically be written. He said, beware that your names are written in the book of life in heaven. In the spirit and said. In the spirit and said. In, in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit and said. And in that hour, Jesus rejoiced in the spirit that they gave a new report, good report, and said. Yes, sir. Rejoice in the spirit Re and said. Yes, <sighs> I thank you, Father Lord. I of thank heaven, you, Father Lord, from heaven. Of heaven and earth. Yes. That you have eaten you know, you have hidden these things from the wise and all these things and you, you are them to you are, you are hidden them from the, the you know, those that are knowledgeable. But you gave it to those that doesn't know anything. Even so, yes. Father. 
Father, for so it seemed, it seemed good in your sight. Which means there might be people who are knowledgeable that might not understand what the kingdom of God requires. No wonder that you know was you know he, he was reading the book of Isaiah. He didn't understand, and the question was true to him. Do you understand how how will I understood? I don't understand it when there's no one to tell me what it means. The, the, choir, the requirement for the kingdom of God is what we are talking about here. We must be careful, beware of self-justification. Because you see yourself as a singer <coughs> now, you sing anointing fall, that might not be the requirement for the kingdom of God that is coming. That you are all aspiring for. I am aspiring for. I am talking about. I am preaching. There is something for that, sir. Let's see. All things have been delivered to me all, by my father. All things have been given unto me by my father. And no one knows who the son is except the father. And Jesus has given us to what his father gave unto him. See, nobody knows my father except who came from him. Nobody will understand the will and the wishes of God except those who come under the power of God, under the hand of the Lord. And you may not understand what you can achieve in God until you come to him. And who the father is expect the son. And who the, the, the father is expect the son. And the one to whom the son wills and, and reveal him. And who the son is to is only God that can reveal who you are to you, to anyone. It's only God that can say you are a good child. <laughs> Don't let your pastor say you are good. Don't let your bishop say you are good. Except the Lord says it. Don't let your wife say you are good. You might be good to your wife and never be good to God. <laughs> what will make man good might be different to what God is saying. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Let God qualify you, not self, you know, uh, exhortation. Then he turned to his disciples and said privately. He, he, privately. he now said to his disciples privately. privately. Yes, sir. Blessed, blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. Blessed are those that see that is hearing what you are hearing now, because they are, are seeing it for a change. For I tell you, for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired. Many people desire to see to this see day what you see, and have not seen. But the time was not given to them. Time to repent was not given to them. Repentance the was not given to Adam and Eve, as God has given to us through Jesus Christ now, that we can pray many times for forgiveness. But if you don't work out what the kingdom of God will give to you, people of God that is hearing me, and to hear what you hear and not add it, have it, add, have not had it. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, "Teacher." What shall I do what shall to, I inherit, do to inherit, inherit the kingdom, life? The kingdom he of said God? To him, he said to him, what is written in the law? What, does he, what, what is your what does the law reading says? of it? So he answered and said, he said, you shall love the Lord your God with love, all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. With all your soul. With all your soul. With all your strength. With all your strength. And with all your mind. With all your mind. And your, and your neighbor as yourself. And your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, he said to him, you have answered rightly. Yes. Do this and, and, and you will live. And you will live. When you love God with all his requirements. You love God so well, you will love your neighbor. <laughs> he said that you will live. Be well said, justification. You are one of those who terrorize. You cause that war. You cause that trouble. You cause that agony. You cause that, oh, you are the one that caused that man to cry. You cause that woman to cry. Beware of self justification. <laughs> that you know how to dance doesn't mean you are there. You know how to preach very well doesn't mean you are there. But beware, I should beware. We should all beware. 
It is not that the moment you die is when the angel will just carry you home and begin to be in the heart of the Lord. He said there's going to be judgment. We should all beware of self-justification. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of Genesis, we are not going to read that place. We see how Genesis chapter 3, when God came to Adam, we'll be talking about it all this while, Adam and Eve, after devil had come to deceive them, and when God now paid them a visit, we know what they were all saying. Adam was blaming the wife, and the wife was blaming a serpent. We don't know who serpent blamed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, you know, we just we have that culture to blame, to blame. They were they have self justification to themselves. It is not them that did it, but somebody was doing it against you know their behalf. Hallelujah. Amen. I say repent that your sin may be forgiven. Instead of that to say, Lord, we have we have sinned against your way. They were blaming other people mm. for their unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Yeah. What are we talking about today? Beware self-justification. In order for us to, you know, to cleanse our world that we are in now, to make it holy before the last day comes to us. Your last day might be today and tomorrow. Might not necessarily be where Jesus Christ shall appear in the sky. But what do you do? What do I do? We matter on this case. What does he say to us in the book of Nehemiah? Chapter 9. Let's see what verse 13 to 20 say quickly. Nehemiah chapter 9. You came down also on Mount Sinai. You came also on Mount Sinai. And spoke with them from heaven. He was talking about what God did to his people of Israel. Where God came to visit, you know, Moses on Mount Sinai. When he saw God face to face. When they hear the voice of the Lord. But yet, what happens? And he, and gave them just ordinances and true law. And he gave the ordinances, the laws. Good status. Good status. And commandments. And commandments. You made known to them. You made known to them. Your holy Sabbath. Your holy Sabbath. And commanded them. Your only, only, only worship. Holy day. <laughs> it's our day. It's holy now. In fact, churches now, mosque now, where they worship God, you see people who are now. In a place of worship, you ha you must have police around you because you don't know what can happen. You must have a military man with gun in a place of worship. Our worship is no more holy. We worship with fear. No fear of God. No respect for God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we cannot do all this in here or not and thinking, yes, heaven shall be sure. You know the kind of, you know what you prepare before you leave home to the place of worship. We am going to fight. You and your wife, you concluded already. We are going to fight in the church today. In that place of worship today, we are going to destabilize them. And you want your heaven to be sure. What does he say for that, sir? He says something. And commanded them. And commanded them. Precepts, statutes, and laws. Yes. By the hand of Moses, your servant. You, 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 you receive it from my servant. You acknowledge it. You gave them bread from you, heaven for their hunger. God gave them bread, free meal from heaven for their hunger. And brought them water out of the rock for their thirst. Oh, yes. And told them to go in to, in to possess the land. Yes. Which you have what does not belong to them? You said, don't worry, I will give it to you to which manage. Which you had sworn to give them. Yes. But they and our fathers acted proudly. Yeah, our father, they acted proudly. I didn't do their next. <laughs> you see now, they were, they were, you know, they had been hearted yeah, people. Next. And did not hear your Ignorant people as if they knew better. I did not eat your commandments. They, they didn't eat your commandments. They refused to obey. They, they refused to obey. And they were not mindful and of And we are not orders. obeying the will of God around us today. But we are singing heaven. Heaven, heaven shall come one day to my shoulder. I will be in heaven one day. 
We are as we are far away from the will of God. Justification. Justifying ourselves because I am a pastor, automatically I am in heaven. I am a prophet, automatically I will, I will live with God. Bishop, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, even we even use our tribe as a justification. Ah, uh, I came from Israel. Ah, uh, I came from Jerusalem. That may not prove that, yes, you are there. Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, except we follow the precept of God, we might not get to heaven. They refuse to obey. They refuse to obey. And they were not mindful of your wonders. And they are not mindful of your wonders. That you did among them. Even they will say to God, what was it? They, anytime they needed God, they blaspheme against him. Like many of us today do. What does he say? Beware of self Justification. What does he say, sir? That you did among them. That you did among them. But they added their neck. They added their neck. And in their rebellion. In their rebellious. They appointed a we leader. Are, there are so many rebellious <laughs> children <laughs> in our days now to the will of God. They appointed a leader. They appointed a leader for themselves. To return to their bondage. Yes. But you are God. You are God. Ready to pardon. God still remain God to pardon. That is why he said to us now, come back home. Gracious and merciful. Gracious and merciful. Slow to anger. Slow to anger. Abundant in kindness. Oh, abundant in peace and joy. And he and did not forsake them. He didn't forsake them. Even when they made a more Even car when they made a car for, for themselves. themselves. To and represent said, as God. And say, is he forgive? This is your God. Is he forgive? That brought you up out of Egypt. Is he forgive? And what great provocation, yet in your mindful in your, mercies. In your mindful mercies. mind. Mercies of You did God. not forsake them in the he wilderness. did not forsake them. The pillar That's of the okay, cloud. Sir. That's okay, sir. He did not, he did not forsake us. And yet... He gave us Jesus Christ with all that we have done to bring us to himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Beware of self-justification. I should beware of it. That truly it was Jesus Christ that brought us back to the redemption that we are journey today. He gave us that salvation of our soul. He saved our soul from perishing by giving us what God wants us to understand, to do. And he is, you know, he made sure that he is in our trouble, our, you know, our agonies by, by shedding his blood to represent every other blood. And yet, we are not doing what he wanted. But he's fighting the and nine, tooth and tell to make sure that things were right with us, teaching us what to do. But the kingdom of God is not sheep without going through what he said. Love God and your fellow brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say to us in the book of Luke chapter 16? Let's see from verse 8. What does he say? So the master condemned the unjust steward the master, because he had dealt shrewdly. He condemned the unjust steward, unjust steward, unjust one. A day of judgment will come that God is going to condemn the unjust steward. For the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light. We, that is why we see self justification now. They are too clever. Even they say they want to be like God. No, God, God, no, 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 no. God will not hate you. It's only that you will you, see you. It's you that doesn't want God to do you know, you, want, you don't want to achieve what God is doing. We are too clever. Above the lay down precedence of the law for mankind. He says something for that. And I say to you. And I say to you. Make friends with for yourselves. Make friends for yourselves. By unrighteous mammon. By unrighteous mammon. That when you fail. That when you fail. They will receive you. They will receive you. Into an everlasting home. Into an everlasting home. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful he, also in much. Oh, yes. 
When you are faithful in this little that God has given, then you'll be faithful in and much. And he who is unjust in what is least and is unjust when also somebody, in much. When somebody is unjust in what God said we should do now, if he gives you beating to money for him, if you give me beating to money, you'll be unjust. What does he say for that, sir? Therefore, therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteousness, if you are not, mammon, if, if you are not faithful in worshiping God, who will commit to you trust the true riches? If, if you cannot serve God and serve Him diligently now, it's not going to commit the big work into your hand. The big word is to go and. No, bring others that does not know God yet to him. And if you have not been faithful in what is another man's, you, you are a sinner. Who will give you what is your own? When you don't, when you don't prepare for the things of the Lord, you, you won't achieve anything from him. No servant can serve two masters. No servant can serve two for masters. either he will hate the one and love the other. Yes. Or else... He will be loyal to the one and despise the other. Even the the one of these uh, steward that was given this uh, you know position to work for Jesus Christ, when he came back to ask for what he has done, he was accusing Jesus Christ. The parable was harassing Jesus Christ. Eh? So I don't know that you are a wicked master. You are so 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 wicked that you gave me just this one to work for you. When one hundred is there, he said, "If you cannot turn one around to make it two, if I give you hundred, like my people in Nigeria, sorry, <laughs> my people in Nigeria, they just want you to give them money, uh, establish me in business. When you give them one hundred thousand, whatever is that in pounds or in dollar, they scandalize it, and they want you again to increase it again tomorrow, and that is what they want. That is what they call enjoyment." The same thing here. We just want the kingdom of God to be given unto us and get in there without working for it. He okay. said we should beware of self-justification. Oh, I, yes. am, I am a child of God. I give my life to Jesus Christ. I am a bona fide child of God. I am. Uh, 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 he said that will not give us the kingdom of God. He said something for that, sir. What does he say? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He will be loyal to the one. He will be loyal to the one. And despise the other. And despise the you other. You cannot serve God you and mammon. You cannot serve God and mammon. Now. You the, cannot serve unrighteousness and righteousness together. You see that you are in defense. You now, see that you are in defense. Now, the Pharisees who were lovers of money. And the Pharisees who are lovers of money. Also heard of these things. They heard about these things. And they derided him. They derided him. And he said to them. And he now said to them. You are also, you are those who justify yourself. You are those that justify before yourself men. before men. But God knows your heart. God knows your heart. For what is your heart? <laughs> you are the one. You are the one that is praising yourself, but God knows your heart. He knows my heart. For what is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. Even when you are, even when you are preaching, he says, "What that thing you think you esteem is an abomination. What I esteem is abomination before the Lord." You went to steal money, and you went to distribute or to donate it. For, for the work of God. It's an abomination. Hmm. They might hear you, the, the one that built this, ah, oh, mansion for us is the one, this building, it was the one that gave it to God. Oh, this church, is building for us, this small, blah, blah. He says, abomination. What does he say for that, sir? The Lord and the, the prophets were unto John. The Lord and the prophet were unto John. Since that time, since that time, the kingdom of God has been preached. The kingdom of God has become since and John the Baptist has been preached. Has been preached, and everyone is pressing into it. They everybody were pressing into that kingdom, and it is easier for heaven and earth to pass away than for one little of the law to fail. You know. When we are talking about the time of John the Baptist, he preached repentance to people to come to God. But do you know that the Bible says since that of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered 
violent. It's only those that can listen to the word of God now that fight out their time with God that can achieve it. Because we have so many things around us now that might not allow us to enter into that kingdom of God with God. So many things around us, so many things that we do, and yet we have this self uh, aggravation, esteem for ourselves, pride for ourselves. Whoever divorces his wife and marries another comm commit adultery, you know, whoever marries her who is divorced from her husband commit adultery. Hallelujah. You know, that place is, is a very big word that one day, by the grace of God, God will give us to, to speak about it. Amen. When you, when you, when you, you say because of your wife, is do something. I, without anything, you just say, I'm going to divorce her, I'm going to divorce my husband. And little thing that I was supposed to say to, you say, no, nee, no, nee, nee, I'm not, I don't have anything. You say, it's abomination to you. We're talking about the kingdom of God, abomination. So we should sit back and see what God is saying to us at this particular time. There's a yasi for everything that we do before him. Hallelujah. Amen. Philippians chapter 3, let's see quickly, what verse 4 to 9 says, sir. Do I also might have confidence in the flesh? Do I may have confidence in the flesh? If anyone else think, thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, but you have confidence in the flesh. I more so. I also, more, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel. If many of us, if what we, what we take as our pride is our achievement, I am a prince, I am a princess, I am this, I am that. That is what he's saying, the son of the bishop. Many people, even there are so many... You know, you know, ladies today when they want to get married, if you don't, they don't add their father's name, eh? mm. they won't marry you because they want them to be recognized with their father. That is not where we are going. You can do so. What I'm saying is that we need that position is what we needed. That name we needed. That fame, that is what we're looking for. And we are losing the kingdom of God in our societies. You can see what is happening around us today. War is increasing. From homes to places of work to the community, marketplaces. Then what does he say, sir? Circumcised the eighth day. I was circum the, it was said to them that I am a tribe of God. Of stock of Israel. <laughs> of the tribe of Benjamin. A, a, a Hebrew. I am one of the twelve tribe of Israel. A Hebrew and uh, of the Hebrews. I am an Concerning the man. law, a Pharisee. Concerning seal, Pacific I am a senator. Don't you know that my father was the king of that place? It was said to them, I have the, all these attributes that I'm talking about. Concerning seal, persecuting the church. I am a doctor, don't you know? I'm coming, sir. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. That has been our pride. President, Prime Minister, the King, the Queen. Those who have the leader here. And we are using all those things to vandalize other people's life. Those that you are meant to look after, to look after. That's your position to look after somebody. But you are not doing, rather, you are destroying them. Hallelujah. Amen. He says something for that, sir. Mm. What does he say? Concerning zeal. Concerning zeal. Persecuting the church. I persecute the church with my zeal. Concerning the righteousness. Concerning my zeal, my power, I destroy homes. Authority, I use my authority to destroy. I persecute. Concerning righteousness. Concerning righteousness. Which is the, in the law of blameless. Which is the law of blameless that we all know. But what things were against to me? What thing were, was... Were, were against to me. Were against to me. This I have counted lost. 
for Christ. Though I have counted all these things in love for Christ. Yet. Yet. Indeed. You must lose something for Christ. How can you lose something for Christ? All that is said you should do against what you have in your hand, you begin to do them. That is where you will be count all things for Christ. Yet, indeed. Yet, indeed. I also count all things lost. I count all things for loss. For the excellences of the knowledge for of the Christ Jesus. For the excellences of the knowledge of our Lord God Jesus. My Lord. My Lord. For whom I have suffered the loss whom of all things. I have suffered all things for. And count them as rubbish. You need to suffer so many things for you to get to the kingdom of God. What do you suffer for? You leave all those things that is making you a proud man. Make you to walk, you know, you know, things that God does not want against others. When you leave them aside, then you be counted worthy for the kingdom that we are talking about. I will be counted worthy for the kingdom of God. Somebody can be in church and still be walking against the will of God for his life or life. Somebody can still be a minister and be walking against the will of God. For his or alive, for people around. But it was said to them, I counted all this thing to nothing for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. What are we talking about today? Beware of self justification. I sure ah, I, we that is talking here, we, you, we must, or else our punishment will be too great because we know. We are not ignorant of what we are saying. We know that we must do some things that will make God happy. If you don't do it, no excuse when that day shall come. Hallelujah. Amen. We must not be like a conductor who brings people to the car, into the train, and never go with the train. It's more than prayer, but it's an action that, yes, I will do the will of God to the core. If you want to be prayed for today, the Lord will pray for you. The Lord will pray for Peter, will pray for you, mm. and devil will not have you mm. in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have not been given, you know, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, I will do say here, giving your life to Jesus Christ to go by what you know that He taught you, He teaches you, you know, and um, follow it. Then you'll be saved. If Jesus tarry, by the grace of God, we shall appear at the same time next week. And um, for me and for the man of God, we are saying, God bless you. Amen. But we must not forget something today. That we need to be aware of self aggravation, self, you know, certification, soil justification. Don't just say, yes, I am there because I'm this, that which means I will get to the kingdom of God. The ticket of this world is not like that of heaven. Till we come back again, God bless you. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Prophet Stephen Laroloto from International Christian Association. Please join me every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time. The message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important. That yes, you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Prophet Stephen Laroloto from International Christian Association. Please join me every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock 
you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yet you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.